Hello, I'm John Myers. A frequently asked question I get is what does the term closes to mean? When you set up an income or expense account, it closes to an equity account. In this tutorial, I'll explain to you what the term means and how to use it in PowerChurch. So let's begin by taking a look in PowerChurch. I have a very simple setup and I'll show you the balance sheet. And I'm going to print the account numbers So I can show you that we have $10,000 in checking and it shows up in the equity section as unrestricted net assets, account 3110. Next we'll create an income account in the chart of accounts and it will be a detail income account. We will create the income account under the group heading unrestricted and give it the account number 4100, general income and this income account will close to unrestricted net assets 3110. Now we'll make an entry in the newly created income account. The entry we will make is $680 of contribution income which will go into the checking account and be recorded in 4110, the income account that we just created. After posting the transaction, the $680 now appears in our checking account and in the equity section under unrestricted net assets. If we take a look at the income and expense statement, we see $680 of income reported and no expenses. Now let's take a look at our two reports side by side with the account numbers printed out. The balance sheet is on the left and the income and expense statement is on the right. And if you recall, in our transaction, we had a debit to our checking account of $680 and a credit to our income account for 100 of $680. So why does the $680 appear in three places on our reports? And the answer is that the income account 4100 closes to the equity account 3110. And if we take a look at the account activity for account 3110, we'll get a better answer of why this is going on. So let's go to our reports and fund accounting and run an account activity for account 3110. And we will see the word system generated in brackets in this account. This means that the $680 has not been posted to this account, but it's a marker saying that $680 will be posted to this account when the account closes at the end of the year. Next, we will create an expense transaction to an account that also closes to 3110. On the balance sheet, the $78 was subtracted from the checking account and from the equity account. And the income and expense statement shows the $680 contribution transaction and now the $78 expense transaction, both closed to 3110. This screen shows the account activity report for 3110 on top and the income and expense statement on the bottom. Notice the system generated line in the account activity report for $602. This is the net of the $680 income and the $78 expense, both that close to 3110. There will not be a separate line item system generated for each transaction. Rather, there will be one line item called system generated that will be the net of all the income and expense that close to that account. Now let's see what happens when we get to the end of the year. Notice our working month is currently January of 2012. I'm going to go through and begin closing months until I get all the way through to December. I've now closed all the months up to November. I'm now going to close November and enter December. And now our working month is December 2012 which is the last month of our current year. Now we'll run the balance sheet and income and expense statement reports side by side. And notice on the right, on the income and expense statement, we still have the amount $680, which represents the total income for 2012, and we still have the $78, which represents the total expenses for 2012, on the income and expense statement. And on the balance sheet on the left, we still have a marker, a single line item called System Generated, 
that shows the net of all the income and all the expenses, which is $602, in account 3110. So what will happen to my income and expense statement on the right when I close December 2012 and enter January 2013? Well, the $680 in account 4100 will go to zero, and the $78 in account 5517 will go to zero. So if I run an income and expense statement for January 2013 and don't make any new transactions, I will see zeros in those accounts. And on the balance sheet on the left, when I close December 2012, the system generated line item showing the net of all the income and expenses for the year 2012 will close and the amount will become permanent. So if I run a balance sheet January 2013 without making any new transactions, I will see a new beginning balance posted in permanent $10,602. And this is what we mean by closes to. The amounts in the accounts on the right close, that is they go to zero, to 3110, the account that they close to. So let's close the month December 2012 and run the reports side by side again. And as you can see, the income and expense statement on the right shows zero for January 2013, and 10,602 on the balance sheet on the left is the new beginning balance, January 2013. Another way to think of the term closes to, if you were running a business, you would want to keep track of all your monthly income and expenses for the year 2012. When you get to the end of the year, you would want to end that year's activity, roll it into the beginning balance of the next year, and begin again. So at the beginning of 2013, you'd have a new beginning balance, your income and expenses would be zero, and you would begin again running all of your income and expense activity for the new year. The same thing happens in Power Church. All of the activity for 2012 gets closed, gets rolled into the beginning balance for 2013, and you begin again. I hope you've learned something from this tutorial on closes to. I'm John Myers.